Hello and welcome. My name is Mark and today I'll be showing you how to make a Victoria sponge. The ingredients you'll need for this is 170 grams of butter, 170 grams of caster sugar, three eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, 170 grams of self raisin flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and about one to two tablespoons of milk. For the icing, you can use buttercream or fresh cream. If you're using buttercream, use 150 grams of butter, 340 grams of icing sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two to three teaspoons of milk, and about three to four tablespoons of jam and some ice and sugar just to decorate afterwards. Okay, now we're going to make the sponge itself. I've got a mixing bowl. If you haven't got a mixer, you can always use a hand whisk. So into here, I'm going to put the 170 grams of butter. It's softened already. Place that in. Teaspoon. And 170 grams of caster sugar. I just want to whisk this together until it's quite light and power in colour. Once that's on, I'm going to line the cake tins. So for this you will need some grease food or bacon parchment. I've got a piece here that I've folded in half. I'm going to put the bottom of the tin onto the paper and just basically draw around the bottom of it into a large circle. Now I'm going to cut around the circle. Just be careful of using scissors. And basically this will go on the bottom of the cake tin to help it stop sticking. the paper in half to save me the time, so we've got two in one go. You will see now that was on the bottom. I've also got some strips that I've done beforehand, just cut these into strips to make sure they're high enough to go into the cake tin. So I'm just going to use a little bit of butter, soften butter, just to go around the tray. And this will help it stop sticking and also will help the paper to the tin. You can see that like that. And now for the strips. Do we just go around the outside? If you haven't got any grease food paper, no big deal, just use extra butter, just help it stop sticking. And the butts on the bottom. Go any outsides. The circle on the bottom again. And the strips around the outside. Okay. 
uh, two line trays. Now, my butter and sugar are looking good, it's quite light in colour. At this stage, I'm going to add the eggs. I'm going to add one at a time. Use the bar to crack them with. Make sure there's no shell inside. I'm going to put this back on. Now add one at a time because otherwise it will split or curdle. You don't want it to happen. one now make sure it's incorporated first put the other one out if you do find it curdles or splits add a bit of flour bring it back together we've gone over flour in a minute anyway but if it does we can add a bit more flour and the last egg Just make sure if you're doing this by hand or in a machine, don't just put it on full speed, otherwise, the flower will end up everywhere. And just bring that together. More flour. And put that back on. And the last little bit, plus the baking powder, just going to put that in. That's it, and just bring that together again. Ready? Now I'm going to add my vanilla extract. A teaspoon. Just put them. And if you don't like vanilla, you want to put another flavour in, you can do lemon's lovely in this. Enough for a little bit longer. I'm going to add a little bit of milk, probably won't need a lot of this, it's quite a loose mixture. Look at that, a tablespoon. Right, okay, so to test the sponges if they're done. Use a cocktail stick or wooden skewer and poke into the middle of the sponge and if it comes out with any kind of cake mixture on then it's cooked. Um, just let it cool down the wire rack and then get ready to do the icing. So in our mixing bowl, and if you haven't got a mixing bowl you can use a wooden spoon or an electric whisk. I'm going to put our butter in. So half 
150 grams and I'm going to whisk this for about four or five minutes. Once it's done for about four or five minutes, then we're going to add half the icing sugar and whisk again for a couple of minutes and then the other half and then a little bit of vanilla extract. If it's too thick, we can water it down with a bit with milk. Okay, so once the item is made up, put it into a piping bag and then for the next stage we're going to get some jam. Just going to take some out of the jar first. I'm going to spread that onto the, onto the sponge at the top. Now this is raspberry but you can use any flavour jam. Okay, and now for the item. Now, if you want to, you can just spread this over the top. I think it looks nicer if you just do kind of uh, piped ones. So, press down, just go on the outside first. You can go around the middle afterwards. Just go into a circular motion. Just fill some in the middle. Top it, just place it on top like that, and just to finish it off, you can get some straws put on top. I'm going to use a little bit of dusting of icing sugar. And there we have it, Victoria's sponge cake. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoy your Victoria sponge cake.